Hi, I'm John McElroy. I'm at the Infineon offices for automotive in the Detroit area. I'm sitting here with Saeed Ahmed. He's the Senior Director of Electrification for the Americas. And I've got to ask you, Saeed, have you ever seen the auto industry move so fast as it's doing right now as it gets into electric vehicles? No. I mean, I have been in this industry for more than 25 years. This is an exciting time. This is really an exciting time. And if you look at the change that's going on, the electrification, the autonomous vehicles, the whole industry is changing. And this is an exciting time to be here. The industry's got to pick up the pace then. Because Absolutely. with all this new technology mm -hmm. coming uh, fast and furious, uh, what can Infineon do to help automakers speed up the process? Absolutely. I think Infineon is one of the uh, key focus for us is decarbonization. We are doing it for the electrification as well as the wind turbine, solar, and all those areas we are playing. In the electrification side, which is my area, is we have a broad pro product portfolio. So we have the sensors, the computers, and the uh, actuation device. These are the three building blocks for all the applications that you see, be it engine control, be it inverter, DC-DC, charger. These are the three broad kinds of products that you need. And Infineon is really present in all of those areas. So if you look at the electrification side, the key applications, you have the inverter, which is uh, converting the DC electricity, AC electricity for the motor. You have the DC-DC uh, and the onboard charger to charge the uh, vehicle and the uh, battery management system. So in all these three key applications, Infineon products are pretty much all, all, all over. One of the things I'm hearing from automakers and even the, the tier one suppliers mm -hmm. is more of a need for a systems approach. Absolutely. How does Infineon fit into that? Absolutely. Actually, Infineon is very much, we focus on system first because market moves by system, right? Because uh, you know if you have to develop some system that have a faster response time for a motor, that's the system related um, uh, characteristic that we need, uh, the OEMs need. So we look at the what are the drivers in the system side, what are the requirements, and those requirements drives our products. So, and we actually ha even have a system group that builds system. Even though we don't sell system, we build system because we want to learn the interaction between different components. One of the key advantage of Infineon is that we have broad product for portfolio, so we have a lot of knobs to kind of tune the system performance. So this is where we start with, for example, in inverter. In inverter, you have the uh, microcontroller, you have the sensor, and you also have this silicon carbide or IGBT power devices that really drives the, uh, drive the motor. So we look at, okay, if, if, if we need to uh, develop a faster, you know, higher power system, what are the different ways we can achieve that? And this is where having a broad portfolio, and as you said, system approach, this is why we can partner with OEMs and tier ones to say, okay, what are the system need and how can we get the requirement for the components to support that. Um, so this is this is what makes Infineon unique, I would say, in the market. It, it's easy to say you should do systems engineering, mm -hmm. but what can Infineon do? Because as you know, uh, the engineering departments at the OEMs are mm -hmm. not organized on a systems basis. Mm -hmm. they're, they're kind of siloed. Mm -hmm. So what can Infineon do to encourage mm -hmm. more of a systems approach on these, uh, these technologies? Yeah, I think, um, for example, I, I'll give you an example of uh, one OEM that we work with um, uh, battery management system. So battery management system, they have the microcontroller, uh, they have the battery sensing uh, IC. So instead of just supplying a component over the wall, we said OEMs and us work together to build a system with Infineon devices, mostly Infineon devices, there are other devices as well. But we looked at the overall system and tested it in the real, uh, real battery to see, okay, what are the real requirements that we need to understand as a semiconductor supplier so that we can put those you know, bells and whistles in the product so that it performs the best in the system level. So that collaboration actually really resulted in a exciting results when we you know, did the final test with our chip. And now OEMs were very happy that they 
they were able to take care of a lot of the challenges that in their previous generation they faced, um, uh, not to have it in this new generation of uh, BMS. Mm -hmm. um, how do you create that kind of community then, where you get everybody uh, from different areas working yeah. together? Yeah, I think this is, a, this is actually very much needed. As you mentioned, it's going very high speed. How do you make sure you, you know, increase the product development speed, but at the same time, don't sacrifice the quality of the product? So it's, it's quite a bit of work, definitely, but what we do a lot of time, we work with the OEMs as well as tier ones. So I'll give you an example. In, in one case at the OEM uh, came to us that, hey, we have, you know, because of the shorter product development, we already designed an inverter that uh, is for the vehicle, but now we are thinking that we want to add a feature that will need 20% more power, 20% more power for a shorter duration for a very fast acceleration mode. So sort of like ludicrous mode or yeah, absolutely. You know, plaid mode. Yeah, plaid yeah. mode, yeah. This is like really that kind of mode. So we said, okay, what can we do? Uh, just by ourselves or just by OEM, we cannot do it. So we said, okay, let's look at the whole value chain. We were supplying the chip, somebody was putting it in a module, and the module was being put in the inverter by tier one, and tier one is supporting the OEM. And we got together, we said, Okay, let's look at the chip. Can the chip keep, uh, push this kind of current? So because we designed the semiconductor chip, we know its limit. So we said, you know what? It has more power, but it needs to be managed in a certain way. So we can potentially put more power, 20% more power through this chip if we work as a team to find out what are the things that the package uh, company need to do and a tier one uh, can do and we need to do so that it kind of comes together. And OEMs are also very flexible, said, okay, in this case, maybe we can you know, uh, adjust the coolant temperature for a short time, right? So by collaboration in these four partners, within a very short time, we are able to get this 20% more power without changing the device, the module, the inverter, and the, of course the vehicle um, there. And I'll tell you that I was able to actually experience that. They, were, they put it in the implementation within a couple of months. It was awesome to get through this. <laughs> a couple of months for what you're talking about mm -hmm. is, uh, that's, that's very fair, very fast. Mm -hmm. So that must be the advantage of taking a systems approach. Absolutely, and, and crossing the boundaries that you know, we don't need to do like you know, a sequential mode. We need to work as a team, as mm -hmm. a community. As the industry gets into this new technology, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it needs new talent. It, it needs more resources, right? Yes. Uh, what can Infineon do to help the industry in that regard? Absolutely. I think the, you touch on a very important point that every company is facing right now. They don't have enough resources. So what Infineon uh, does, Infineon is a long-term company. We want to be the thought leaders. So we actually put together some uh, even... Uh, uh, we have some books that we did for what we call it bridging theory into practice. Because we don't have a lot of time to get this experience, we said, okay, when the university graduate, uh, student graduate from the university, they have theoretical background, but what is important in design, there is a gap there. So we, we fill that gap with that book, and we also offer these courses to different companies um, to see how they can ramp up their present uh, resources to these electrified future resources uh, in a very shorter time. So this has actually been very, very helpful. O OEMs and tier ones like this kind of effort because it's helping them. Who would have ever thought that a supplier, a chip supplier, would have to write books and teach courses <laughs> on how to take theory into practice? Yeah, no, this was actually, we, we really uh, saw that the customers really like it. I mean, we had uh, sessions actually in this building. Like, sometimes there were 30, 40, uh, you know, employees will come from OEM as OEMs are transitioning this uh, from the ICE uh, uh, period to this electrification period. They need to transition their resources, and we want to be we want to help them in this transition process. We're also working with universities to find uh, to kind of give them some insight into what are the areas of research and innovation needed in this area so that research is focused on areas that matter. Mm -hmm. So we recently had a lot of discussion with the university, local universities, as how we can help them to get these resources which uh, the, um, we and Tier 1 and OEM, all of them are looking forward. 
I, I'm, I'm sure it's all early, but mm -hmm. how's this all worked? The, the book, the courses, working mm -hmm. with the universities, mm -hmm. going for a systems approach. Yeah. Do you see progress being made? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I think that when we, you know, a lot of time is like say, getting the word out. Some say, oh, you are a semiconductor company, you're, you offer these courses. So sometimes we need to be more you know, proactive um, in terms of say, hey, we can, we can help your resources to transition it. And um, I think the universities also are, you know, ramping up their activity on the electrification side, but we need more effort. And this is what we are, we are, we are trying to see how we can get the whole community. As you know that the, it, this is a very, very fast transition happening in the automotive industry that over 100 years did not happen this fast. And we as actually need to work as a community and we, we realize that and it's, a, it's, it's really benefiting the whole industry um, in this transition process. Yeah, I'll say it is. Boy, things moving fast. It's uh, very intriguing to see uh, a supplier, chip supplier, stepping mm -hmm. in to, to help make this happen. Saeed, Saeed uh, Ahmed, thanks so much for your time. Very interesting what you're working on. Yeah, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.